Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss one important and conceptual problem from limits involving the greatest integer function, right? And here we have to uh, evaluate this limit uh, x tends to 2 and we have greatest integer of x divided by x, right? So here uh, what we will do uh, we'll first find out the right hand limit and then we'll find out the left hand limit So let us uh, first take this function as f of x, right? So we'll take f of x as greatest integer of x divided by x and Here we have the limit x tends to 2 and we have f of x Right. So what we will do, uh, we'll first find out the right hand limit and then we will find the left hand limit and we'll see whether this limit exists or not. And here also we'll see whether this limit exists or not. And in case uh, both the right hand limit and the left hand limit both exist and are equal then we can claim that uh, the limit of this function when x tends to 2 it exists right and in case the right hand limit exists and the left hand limit also exists but they are not equal then we can claim that the limit of this function when x tends to 2 it does not exist right so now uh, the right hand limit is given by limit x tends to 2 and here I uh, will put a positive sign right and here we have f of x so this is the notation for the right hand limit right okay now see uh, here we have x is equal to 2 right so here we have the point 2 and when we calculate the right hand limit uh, we proceed from uh, the uh, right of x is equal to 2 uh, towards x is equal to 2 Right? And when we calculate the left hand limit, uh, we proceed from the left of x is equal to 2 uh, uh, towards x is equal to 2. Right? So here uh, towards the right of x is equal to 2, we have a point which is in the neighborhood of x is equal to 2. That point is 2 plus h. Right? And uh, uh, towards the uh, left of x is equal to 2, we have a point. Uh, 2 minus h right so now uh, when we calculate the right hand limit we take x is equal to uh, 2 plus h right because here h is uh, infinitesimally very small and it is greater than 0 but less than 1 right so h is a very important quantity uh, which is infinitesimally very small and h lies between 0 and 1 right so when we uh, find out the right hand limit we take x is equal to 2 plus h because uh, we have to consider uh, all the points uh, which are greater than x is equal to 2 so now when x tends to uh, 2 then obviously h tends to 0 right so now this right hand limit uh, can be expressed in terms of h so we have limit when x tends to 2 plus here uh, we have h tends to 0 right and here we have f of x so now x can be replaced by 2 plus h right okay so now we have limit h tends to 0 f of 2 plus h can be uh, obtained by replacing x by 2 plus h so here we have greatest integer of 2 plus h divided by uh, 2 plus h. So now see here we have this expression limit h tends to 0 greatest integer of 2 plus h divided by 2 plus h. Now here we cannot uh, directly substitute h is equal to 0. Right. So what we will do here I uh, will make use of the definition of uh, greatest integer function. Right. Now see, uh, we know that the definition of greatest integer function goes like this. The greatest integer of uh, x is equal to n uh, when x uh, it, is, uh, uh, it lies between n 
and n plus 1 right so this is the definition of uh, greatest integer function now see here we have 2 plus h so uh, we can take x is equal to 2 plus h so 2 plus h because h is uh, a positive quantity because it is greater than 0 and it lies between 0 and 1 so 2 plus h it is always greater than 2 right because h has some value so 2 plus h is slightly greater than 2 but it is less than 3 right so the greatest integer of 2 plus h should be equal to 2 right by definition of greatest integer function right because 2 plus h is slightly greater than 2 and uh, this quantity 2 plus h is less than 3 so we can say that 2 plus h lies between 2 and 3 so the greatest integer of 2 plus h should be equal to 2 so now we have limit so we have limit x, uh, h tends to uh, 0 and greatest integer of 2 plus h is 2 so here we have 2 divided by 2 plus h right so now uh, we can replace this h by 0 so we have 2 over 2 plus 0 so this is 2 over 2 uh, that is equal to 1 right so the right hand limit of this function uh, when x tends to 2 is equal to 1 right now let us find out the left hand limit so now the uh, left hand limit uh, the notation for left hand limit is limit x tends to 2 uh, negative sign will put a negative sign over 2 and here we have f of x right so when we approach towards x is equal to 2 from the left of x is equal to 2 uh, we get a point which is very uh, close to x is equal to 2 but it lies towards the left of x is equal to 2 and that point is 2 minus h right so uh, we put here x is equal to 2 minus h and uh, uh, similarly when x tends to 2 positive uh, sorry here we have the negative sign so when x tends to 2 uh, minus then h tends to 0 right and h lies between 0 and 1 right okay so now the left hand limit in terms of h uh, may be written as limit here we have h tends to 0 f of x x can be replaced by uh, 2 minus h right so we have limit h tends to 0 and f of 2 minus h can be obtained from here by replacing x by 2 minus h so here we have greatest integer of 2 minus h divided by 2 minus h right okay so now once again i uh, will make use of the definition of greatest integer function the greatest integer of 2 minus h right now see 2 minus h now h is a positive quantity right and it lies between 0 and 1 so when we subtract h from 2 then we get a number uh, which is uh, slightly less than 2 right but 2 minus h is greater than 1 right so 2 minus h lies between 1 and 2 so the greatest integer of 2 minus h should be equal to 1 right so now we can write limit h tends to 0 here greatest integer of 2 minus h is 1 so we have 1 over 2 minus h and when we replace this h by 0 then we get 1 over 2 minus 0 that is equal to half right so the uh, left hand limit of uh, this function when x tends to 2 is half right so viewers here we have seen that the right hand limit is 1 the left hand limit is half right and although both the limits exist and they are finite right but they are not equal right so we see that the right hand limit it exists and it is finite similarly the left hand limit it also exists and it is finite but right hand limit is not equal to the left hand limit so we can say that the limit of this function 
uh, it does not exist right so the uh, for the existence of limit uh, the right hand limit should exist and finite the left hand limit should also exist and finite and at the same time the right hand limit should be equal to left hand limit for the existence of limit right but in this case uh, the right hand limit is not equal to left hand limit hence we can say that uh, the limit of this function it does not exist